You know, there really hasn't been a lot of activity in the Gulf, nothing to churn the water and overturn it. Right. It's the opposite of the atmosphere. We go warm to cold as we go up in the atmosphere. The ocean's opposite. It gets colder as you go down, uh, so the, the surface water is extremely warm. Is this Category that, 4 still right now? Uh, it's, a, it's a Cat 1 right now. Cat 1, but expected uh, to be Cat 4 by the yeah, time Yeah, it, it's landfall. going to strengthen in the next 24 hours. It, it's really going to be a devastating storm. I, I'll give you an update on it right now. Let's take wow. a look. And they're already getting these uh, precursor rains uh, in Louisiana because the flow already uh, influenced by uh, Ida is out of this, this southeasterly direction here. And you already see that they're, they're getting... Uh, the, the ground is getting moist already. It's already getting soaked there. Uh, and this is the area that is going to get um, Ida. So uh, here it is. And it's uh, right on the tip of Cuba right now. The uh, moving northwest at 15 miles per hour. Winds are 80 miles per hour. So it's a Category 1 storm. Uh, but this uh, storm will intensify overnight and especially during the day tomorrow. Uh, here's the track and the intensity as it goes from a Cat 1 to a Cat 2 to a Cat 3. And the projections by the National Hurricane Center is that it will reach a Category 4, which is a major catastrophic hurricane. I think this is going to rival Katrina. I, I hope I'm wrong on that. Uh, but the, if this hits right where in the center of this uh, uh, cone right here, which it could go really on either side of it, but if, anywhere right there is, is not a good spot. And uh, your winds are going to be upwards of 150 miles per hour. So. Uh, that's on the headlines tonight. A cool break for us here in New England, and Connecticut's looking good for the weekend as well. Uh, next significant rain is on Monday as the humidity starts to come back, and we get a few showers in here. So we'll call it cloudy tomorrow. I think we might see a little glimpse of sun, especially in northeastern Connecticut. Uh, mostly cloudy on your Sunday. Uh, but again, eastern Connecticut, I think, has the best chance of having sunny breaks this weekend as a weather front is draped down here, and that's where we see... Uh, the showers right now, so it's off to our south. Look at the dew point as we track it. Uh, Saturday, 8 o'clock, we're still a little bit humid here in southern Connecticut, southwestern Connecticut, because they're close to the front. But watch this. The dry punch of air does come in again tomorrow and tomorrow night and into early Sunday morning. So it does get a little bit better. Seven-day forecast, check it out. We've got uh, 80 for your Sunday, 84 uh, for Monday, and again, humid with the showers and thunderstorms coming in on Monday. Tuesday, we're sun and clouds, and it's drier, so a cold front moves through from the west, and that gives us a northwesterly breeze, and it actually feels really nice on Tuesday. It's a really nice day. Wednesday into Thursday, although the showers are Wednesday here, we could see uh, some of uh, Ida's moisture come up here, but that front that's moving through might actually keep it south of us. We'll have to wait and see how that looks. All right, that's the way I see it from here.